Ryan, I promise to love you, to honor and cherish you, and in this relationship, leaving all others be only with you, and be to you in all things, a true and faithful wife, a true and faithful husband, for richer or for poor, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. We're not the biggest family, but we sure are the loudest. <laughs> brother, you're great. I can ask for a better brother. I just am so happy to wish Ryan and Jamie Cavanaugh into their new life together. And I could not be more supportive. I love you so much. Happy wife, happy life. Rock on. Just love each other, that's all I gotta say. Don't worry about the big things or the little things, it'll all work out. God has a purpose. It's an amazing thing, honestly, to consider that God is in fact the creator of marriage, that he gave marriage to his creation as a special gift, but there's certainly some purposes besides it just being wonderful. His aunt and I love him to death and I adore Jamie and I'm really excited that you guys are husband and wife now, which is Ryan and Jamie have come together according to the teachings of Scripture and, of course, according to the laws of the state of Washington. I, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, now announce you, husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. made for each other, you were you found each other and you did that. So just don't discount what you guys did together. And it's just so beautiful to be able to experience you guys together. And Jamie, you're so perfect for him. You are so perfect for him. And I just can't wait to see you guys together. Um, you know, for the rest of your life, I can't wait to have a niece or nephew or multiple nieces or nephews, whichever you decide to do. 